Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Transitions video presets in Reaper. Now to add a video in Reaper, we can drag and drop it from our computer, or we can go up here to the insert menu and choose media file. And I'm going to add in a video that I downloaded from Pexels and double click it here, which adds it in to Reaper on its own track. Now this video has no audio, so I'm not going to see anything over here. And if I hit play, I also don't see anything if the video window isn't open. So let's go up here to the view menu and choose video window, which opens up this window right here where we can see the video. We can make it bigger or smaller. We can double click it for full screen or double click it again to make it smaller. Let's resize it right about here. Now we can work with video just like any other item in Reaper. We could select it, move it around. We could split it in multiple places and delete and edit the pieces together to create hard edits like this. Now, if we want the transitions to be smoother or crossfade, we have to add a plugin to this track. So let's go up here to the track effects under all plugins and choose the video processor, which opens up and looks like this, where we can choose presets to adjust or process our video. One of the first ones you probably want to know about is right down here, item fades affect video. If we choose this and create crossfades over here, The video is going to crossfade when we hit play. And we can readjust them to be as big as we want. And we can also fade in and fade out right over here. Create a fade in or a fade out, and the video fades out. Now that's only going to work with this plugin on this track. If we turn it off and play it, all the edits are hard edits. It doesn't crossfade them. So you need to make sure we turn this on. Item fades affect video. But in this tutorial, I want to focus on a few different presets. So let's delete these edits, trim this out. Let's keep our fade in. And in order to keep that fade in, we have to leave that plugin on this track and add new ones to create new video effects. So instead of changing the preset over here, we're going to leave it right here and add a new one on top. Video processor, and go to the presets down over here, the transition ones. The first one I want to show you is horizontal wipe. And if we choose this, we can see it wipes the right side, but keeps the left side. And we could adjust that to be fully open or fully closed. So we could turn that into a wipe if we automate this parameter. So let's select it, go to our parameter menu, and show the track envelope. Then we can automate right over here. Hold down Shift and create a few points. Let's bring this one all the way down and watch the video. It fades in and transitions with that horizontal wipe. Horizontally, based on the automation or the envelope we just created. And we can adjust it to be quicker. And just like that, we created a horizontal wipe. But we can readjust it more to adjust the fade size so it's a bit softer and the divider size. 
But we could also go from left to right instead of from right to left. Just change the left input to be one and the right input to be zero. Let's clear the automation and do it the opposite way. Create a few points. And it goes from left to right and back again. And this is most useful for transitions. So we can create an edit right here. Let's put this right in that line, along with this one. Now this transition is going to happen based on that wipe. So we can go from scene to scene using that wipe as a transition for our edits. So that's a horizontal wipe. But we could choose a different preset. Let's try the matrix wipe. And that looks like this. But we could also control how big the X size is, more divisions or less, and the Y more divisions or less, and the C. So the transition looks like this. Changes to a matrix as a wipe, as it transitions from one edit to the other. And we could also use the peephole wipe or vignette. Let's start off with the automation turned off. And it's going to look like this, where the sides come in in a rounded or vignette type of fade. So it normally looks like this, but we could bring it in to create that effect and adjust the shaping to make it softer or harder and the subdivide, which could be a static effect for the whole time. Or we could use it as a transition. Let's automate the size starting full up. And we could automate this parameter. Right on the transition. That's what's known as the peephole wipe or the vignette effect if we don't use it as a wipe or a transition. So it's full up, then it goes down to a peephole and back out for the transition or the edit. And we could also combine the two, giving us the vignette setting and also the peephole transition. Let's clear the envelope again and check out one other preset, the vertical wipe. And this is going to work very similar to the horizontal one, except it goes up and down. So again, we can automate it full up, show track envelope, create some points, bring it down. Now transitions from the bottom to the top. And again, we could switch it with the top input to be one and the bottom input to be zero. Then we could right click and invert the points to reverse the effect. And once again, we can combine as many of these effects as we want. So we can add the vignette on top of this by adding another instantiation of this plugin on top of this one and our wipe and set this to vignette, adjust it how we prefer, and it's still going to be there but we transition vertically. And we could also put the effects directly on the item. So let's move the vignette effect to the first item. 
Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and drag it over here and drop it. Now it's no longer on the track. Now we're just going to have it on this item, not this one, which we can see right up here. Or we can make it different by copying it from this one to this one, but readjusting it to adjust the size to make it smaller and have a different effect on this item compared to this one, but still have the transition from over here. Have it fade in, have a transition from top to bottom, and a different vignette effect for each item. So there's no end to how we can use these presets on top of each other or one at a time, and also put them on different items or automate them right from the track. So those are the transition video presets in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.